Hello and welcome at the virtual Lauterbach booth of the Embedded World 2021 Digital Exhibition. We here at Lauterbach would like to present to you our latest product for RISC-5, Debug and Trace, which is the Combi Probe. In the following video, we will first give you a brief introduction to the Combi Probe and then afterwards show a demonstration of the Combi Probe's trace capabilities in action. With the rising market interest in the RISC-V instruction set architecture, the Lauterbach Combi Probe fills the gap in need for an all-in-one debug and trace solution. The Combi Probe allows to debug both 32-bit and 64-bit RISC-V cores, and if necessary, also in combination with cores from other architectures. The principle of the Combi Probe allows to perform both debugging and tracing with only one single connector. Its trace capabilities are sufficient for medium bandwidth requirements with a 4-bit parallel trace option with up to 400 Mbit for each of the four trace channels. Furthermore, the Combi Probe's internal trace memory has a size of 500 MB. The Combi Probe can be combined with different Lauterbach base modules, such as the Power Debug USB 3 or the Power Debug Pro. In the following demo, we will show a Combi Probe that is connected to an FPGA platform with a Sci 5 E76 32 bit core. The used trace infrastructure is the Sci 5 Nexus Trace solution. The trace interface in use is the Sci 5 Probe interface block with a 4 bit parallel trace channels. To start the demo, we have already executed a startup script that did establish the debug connection to the target and did load a small demo application into the instruction memory of the core. Next, we use the so-called autofocus feature of the Combi Probe. This feature automatically tests and calibrates the trace interface in order to establish a stable trace connection. If we want it, we could store the outcome of this calibration and reuse it for our next debug session. Now that everything is properly initialized and calibrated, we can start tracing via Sci5's probe interface block. Lauterbach trace tools provide different mechanisms and conditions for the start and stop of a trace recording. In this example, we will trace the use trace watch points. This means the trace hardware on the chip is configured to automatically start and stop the trace recording when the CPU reads from or writes to certain memory regions. In our example, the watch points are addresses of variables in our demo application. Now we let the CPU run for a short period of time and then see that our trace buffer has received trace data. To analyze the trace data, this window allows to reconstruct every instruction that was executed between our two watch points. In addition to that, we also see the corresponding high-level lines of the target application. As a final step, we want to make a small performance analysis of the obtained trace data. In the left window, we can see the execution times of each function, with regard to the overall execution time. This information is obtained with the help of timestamps that are part of the trace data. This analysis helps to optimize the performance of your application and to determine potential bottlenecks. Furthermore, in the right window, we can see the call hierarchy of the functions. This helps to get an overview of the application's overall execution flow. With that, we reach the end of our quick introduction video to the Lauterbach Combi Probe for RISC-V. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at the Embedded World Digital. Our experts are looking forward to talk to you.